hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video as you can tell in the title i am going to be doing like a little tutorial using the new anastasia beverly hills norvina palette i know i know it is a lot i get it i feel you i feel the same way it's just like i am not expecting this um but i do want to talk about my thoughts about the, the whole thing and how it just launch after launch is just it happens so quick um so yeah if you guys want to see this tutorial let's just get started so i got the palette the pr thing today in the morning so i want to just get get it over with and like show you guys because i'm really excited to try it and see because i really love the colors there um obviously i took it out of the pr already like the box um i have it right here and i really really like it i like the outside of it it's so pretty it's also going to be 60 dollars, and it's also launching on the 26th of september so it's going to be launching the same day as volume two so i just wanted to let you guys know that only thing i want to say also it is that of course they launched these palettes right back after the other i think these two came out just way together like they just came together way too soon in my opinion um but that's something that would color pop would like pull off but it, it's just really rare when it comes to the anastasia beverly hills but i think they had like some issues about like, people trying to leak it or like something like that i don't know like the whole details but the only good thing about this is that like if you have not bought any of these palettes and you're looking to find a nice colorful palette you can actually be able to see all of these and actually pick the one that you like so if you have not bought the first one the second one and of course if you have not gotten the third one now you actually have somewhere where you could pick which one you like and that is something i just want to throw out there don't feel like you need to buy all of these unless you're like you love colorful palettes and like you're living for all of these three and you have the money to spend go for it but personally i wouldn't spend 60 dollars on each palette i will basically pick the one that i like the most and that's the one that i would get so if you have not bought any of the palettes and you actually want to see how they all work and like see which one you vibe with the most i would say do that i showed my cousin yesterday the palette and i was letting her know because she her phone had broke so she didn't have the phone on her um, and I showed her this palette and she said that this is the palette that she feels that she will gravitate to the most because it has warm tones and it's just something you could wear like every day with the pop of color. So if you're into like warm tones and like just pop of color, then I feel like this palette is going to be for you. So I just wanted to throw that out there. They also sent out to me these little hair clips. You know how Norvina, I don't know if you guys follow her on Twitter or on Anastasia Beverly Hills, they actually said that they came out with these little clips that she created. I think this clips and the palette volume two was supposed to come out during Coachella times, but like something um, wrong went on there. So they weren't able to, and that's perfectly fine as long as they're able to take it out, you know, and everything. But yeah, that's my thing. I don't want to push you guys to feel like if you guys need all the palettes, you guys don't i say if you have not gotten any of them wait till they all launch like obviously they're gonna launch the september 26 but wait for it see which one you like the most watch videos see which one you feel like you vibe with the most and get that one and like that you're gonna feel more comfortable buying a palette don't feel like you need all of them because you don't don't feel forced to just because we're getting in pr doesn't mean i would have bought all of them i would have actually just waited to see i know you would have not known this if they were coming out with more this fast which i totally get because i didn't even expect that either but it's just something that i wanted to tell you guys so now that we all know that this is the final norvina palette you guys get a pick so yeah i'm excited to just go ahead go on and play but before i start playing i do want to do some swatches and show you guys the colors i'm gonna just do it off camera and swatch them all here and then put them for you because if not this is gonna be a really really long video and i do not want to do that to you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and do some swatches and yeah okay so i went on and i swatched them for you guys on my arm they're very very nice we have some very warm colors and very pop of colors you can tell we have a lot of them here um there's 25 
pressed pigments here. I think they're all pressed pigments. These are vegan and cruelty free. So just letting you guys know that if you guys really need to know all the details of the palette, of course. Um, this is all the colors. I did have to swatch some of them more than once, but I feel like because I was just not my hands dry, you know, I'm not I didn't use any of the primer under is literally just my arm so that is basically the swatches i'm gonna go ahead and remove the swatches now um so you guys can see that's literally my arm um i want to know your guys' thoughts about this palette and like the whole thing of how they launched everything so quick leave them in the comments below because i'm really really interested to know because it's just something i none of us expected this from abh I think we expect this from ColourPop because they do that a lot, which is perfectly fine if that's how they do their stuff, you know? But yeah, it's just crazy how everything happened. So now that my hands and arm are clean, we're gonna go ahead and start playing with the palette. Okay, so first I am gonna go ahead and prime my lids using the ABH eye primer like I always do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye on camera and then I'll do the other eye off camera just so we could focus on one eye for you guys. And I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my eye. Okay guys, so I'm really excited. The palette is just so beautiful. I don't know what colors I wanna do. I do wanna do like a fall kind of vibe since I've been doing very bold colors. I am gonna be using a little bit of pop of color cause I have to, that's just me. So we're just gonna go in and go crazy with it. I'm gonna go in with uh, C4, which is this color right here and we're gonna go in slowly with that onto the crease okay next I am gonna go in with C3 which is this color right next to the C4 and I'm gonna be using that to blend out that kind of like purple violet it has like a deep tone to it but we're gonna go ahead and use that and blend this all over and I'm literally just using tapping motions a little and then blending so we can kind of get that nice color going on. Okay, next we are going to be using the shade E3 right here, which is like a light, like orange. I don't know, we're just gonna use that. I'm gonna try to blend that in on top of that other color and then just kind of blending that out. like that isn't it so pretty i am loving how it's like melting all together i like that i'm of course gonna be adding some browns but i kind of want to add the browns on the bottom part right here of my eye to kind of make it kind of smoky i am going to be adding a little bit deeper tones here so let's just start off doing that i'm gonna go ahead and get e2 this one right here uh it's kind of like a burgundy color like a deep burgundy and we're gonna add this on the inner crease to kind of add a bit more dimension like that i don't know if you can see that but it's so nice it's just like i love it i know it looks crazy right now but it's gonna look good i promise so with the same brush that i was using i'm gonna go ahead and get b5 this one right here and we're gonna start blending that in with the orange that I was using up here and just kind of you know blending that out so it doesn't look too harsh and of course we can go back and forth so we can kind of get like that orange back because it kind of loses itself a little and then we're just gonna blend that in there again and if you know what I kind of do want it to be a bit more like so I'm just gonna go back with the B4 and we're gonna get that color back in there so we don't lose it and then we're gonna blend that out I went on and I blended in the orange a bit more in the middle and I kind of want to deepen this a little more so I got some of that B4 which is the first color that I played with and I'm adding a bit more of dimension to my inner corner because i like doing that i want my eye to have like a lot of kind of like a vibe going on i don't know if you can see that it's kind of creating like dimension there and that's what we're going to do like 
this just like that and then with a little bit of the c4 or you know what let's just go ahead and add the e2 we're gonna add a little bit more of depth and we're gonna be using that and i'm using like a little pencil brush and we're just gonna kind of dot it there and wing it out like that we're basically kind of making like a little point and winging it out to kind of create that I look right there mm. so right now what I'm gonna do is that I do want to kind of add a bit more of color so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cut my crease with this ABH primer and we're gonna make a little nice crease there we're just using like a little flat brush and we're just gonna tap it here and we're gonna start cutting the crease I'm gonna be pl playing with the pop of colors i do want to play with this one too but i don't know it's just so pretty but i want to do orange so i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do orange and then maybe i'll add that on my inner corner but we're just gonna do the orange one so we're gonna just get another brush getting like this like dense packer brush and we're gonna go in with a5 which is this deeper orange we're gonna be putting that next to my outer corner and just kind of tapping it there. Oh my god, I you can't tell this light kind of washes it off a bit, but it's so bright. I live for it. And we're slowly gonna add more colors to this because I have to. So pretty, this orange is so nice. I like it. So on the other side of the brush, of course, I'm gonna be going in with another orange, which would be A2 right here. And we're gonna add that next to the other orange that I have placed. They're like two different types of oranges, but they will look nice together. So I thought it would be a cool idea to do that. So right now I'm just gonna go back and forth with these oranges, like that. And then I do want to play with the yellow, so I am going to be using a little bit of the yellow, and I'm going to add that next to the orange. So I got another packer brush, and it's like a little smaller one, and we're going to go in with A4, which is this yellow. And I know I said I was going to do oranges and every, like browns, but I can't help myself. So we're going to add that right next to the orange, and we're going to blend those together. You can see what I'm doing there. I'm just basically packing the yellow and the orange together. And we're gonna start blending them out together. It is so pretty. I am obsessed. I feel like, honestly, I feel like the mo most of the people are gonna like this palette. It's such a good one. I know I said that for all of them, but I feel like this one, a lot of people are gonna be able to use this because it has a lot of those browns and you can actually get like a very nice neutral look with it. Just literally one shadow, it will look nice. But so far, that is how it's looking, and it's so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of one of the shimmers that it has here since I haven't played with shimmers and get this little pencil brush, and we're going to use that. And I do want to wet it because I just, I like, I rather wet my brushes when I use shadows. So I'm going to do that. And I am going to go in with, oh my God, this is so pretty. I'm going to go in with... D2, which is this one right here. It's like a brighter one out of all of them. I don't want to do the gold one, but I'm going to do this. And I'm going to add this right on the edge of this. So you see how pretty that looks? So stunning. But you know me, I have to do more color. So I am going to be adding that pop of green because I have to do that. I'm going to be adding that to my inner corner um this is a bit too small for me so i'm going to be using this one right here um this is like a 421 brush that i got so we're just going to use this and we're going to add a1 which is that bright green i don't know i'm going to show you guys right here is this one right here it is so bright i'm going to be using that on my inner corner so we're just going to add that right here see how pretty i know you guys can't tell because of the lighting but it is right wait i don't know if you guys can see it there it's like a yellow or green and i'm gonna just kind of add it right here on top and then blend it all out here so that little shimmer that i use in the middle i'm gonna go ahead and use that on my brow bone to kind of add a little bit of highlight there 
that do you see that glow oh it's so nice so okay i am going to start doing my bottom eyes and since i did the top part kind of bold and nice and colorful i'm going to be doing my bottom part but i'm going to be using the browns for you guys that i have here so we're going to go ahead and play with the browns so what i'm going to be getting i'm going to go ahead and get d1 which is this color right here and i'm going to add that to my bottom lid and we're gonna do like a smoky eye in the bottom and no i'm not gonna put color there i'm just gonna be putting the brown so you guys can see how well they work but so far i have no problem with the fallout i think everything's fine still the weight press is perfect i like it i live for it so now i'm gonna go ahead and blend it in with the a3 which is this one right here this color here we're gonna go ahead and use that and I'm gonna tap that and I'm slowly gonna just blend that here in the bottom of the eye and blend the D1 out but look how nice I love the colors here I know maybe my camera kind of washes it out but like it gives me like a nice fall kind of vibe and I really like that but I am gonna add a little bit of more depth into my under eye and I'm going to go ahead and get this brush right here. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills A3. And I'm going to go in with E2, which is like that brighter, darker, I'm sorry, the darker color next to that green is this one right here. I'm going to be using that to kind of create more depth to my eye. And we're going to slowly just tap the in there. It's not a brown, but it's like a burgundy color. And I feel like it just looks really nice. So we're just going to use this here. I would have used black, but they don't have black in this palette, so I just want to let you guys know that. But you could use any other black from another palette. I'm going to put eyeliner on, and hopefully that will make it a bit more darker. But so far, I love the way it's blending. None of the Anastasia Beverly Hills like palettes have disappointed me, so I just want to let you guys know that. I've been loving all of them. But I like this vibe more, especially since we're coming to the fall and Christmas and Thanksgiving vibe. This palette is going to be it more than the other ones. The other ones are more like summer to me. So I just like this more. Okay, now that my eye look is basically kind of done, I am going to go in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara just to coat my lashes. So we're just gonna go ahead and coat it. So far, let me know your guys' thoughts on this look. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the palette? I think it's a cute palette. So what I'm gonna be using now is my, gonna be my House Laboratories liner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just do like a nice wing liner. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my Bella Glam lashes. This is in the style Sueño. These are like a small, lash brand and they're so cute i really really do love these lashes so i'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes using my duo glue lastly i am going to be using my um anastasia beverly hills this is the dark side waterproof gel liner and i love this so i'm gonna go ahead and line my eye just to make it a bit more darker okay so now that my look is basically all done i'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and i'll be right back now that my eye look is complete, I am obsessed with it. I love the vibe of it. I really, really do. So now I'm going to move on with my lips since now that I have a makeup on. I'm going to go in with the House Laboratories. This is their RIP lip liner and this is in Rule. I actually love the formula of this. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this. Okay, next I am going to go in with my Mel Cosmetics. This is a matte li um, lipstick, I'm sorry. And I'm going to go in. This is in the shade Mural. And it's like a nice kind of orangey tone to it. Brownish tone. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Mm, this is a really, really nice lip color. I love it. It's so, mm, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, this is going to be my new combo. This is so nice. Okay guys, so this is the final look using Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 3 palette.
Okay, guys, so my thoughts on this palette. Of course, you know, as you can tell when I was using it, I love this palette. I honestly recommend this one the most out of all of them, especially for those who love neutral colors. This is the palette for you. I recommend this way more than the other ones. The other ones are beautiful, but those are for people that love color, like me. I love color, so those are nice and beautiful palettes. But this one is just way more like it's like that has a pop of colors. You can create like a nice kind of look with it. You obviously could create like a warm niche, warm fall vibe look. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it was really, really nice. So I heard that these palettes will be on Sephora in stores. I think volume one and two. I don't know if the first one, I'm not sure. Um, but for sure, this one is going to be in store September 26th. So if you guys want to get this, I would recommend this one. Like I said, don't feel obligated to get all of them because you don't need all of them. If anything, I feel like you guys might need this one the most. So I just wanted to let you guys know that and see the look that I was able to create with it. Of course, I did like a colorful look because I had to. That's just me. Um... But you could actually get some nice neutral look with this, with this one, all of these right here. The orange one, you could be like a pop of color. We have our golds. This is so nice. Everything about this is just so pretty. I love it. Uh, I recommend it. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you have any thoughts or you like this look, comment down below. If you love this look, give it a thumbs up. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, give it. it was fun to be able to create these looks with these palettes. And it was nice to show you guys how I was able to create them. Thank you for those who have seen my videos. It means the world to me. And if you guys didn't know, I did do a 40 facts about me. It was my previous video for my birthday. So yeah, um, if you guys watch that, it really means a lot. Now you guys know. So now you guys know a little bit more. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and please subscribe. It would mean a lot for me if you subscribe because I would like to have you in my family. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, don't forget to comment and give it a little like because that will help my channel to be shown to others and be recommended. If you like this video, go ahead and share it. Um, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, thank you guys so much and I will...